Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Shaping Your Future weekly video. Today I'm going to give you a very simple process for effective communication. Now I know that this topic seems to be overdone in many ways, but we are living in a world of hashtags and handles, and unfortunately, communication is becoming a lost art, much like critical thinking. And this is especially important when you're dealing with an organization, or if you as a leader are trying to communicate effectively to your employees, to your team members, uh, especially when there's an objective that needs to be met. So often I find when I'm working with executives and teams that communication lacks because clear objectives haven't been established, or if they have, everybody is unclear or unsure of whose role uh, does what and what their personal role is and so on. So I'm going to give you a very effective process here to dramatically increase the effectiveness of your communication, which will ultimately decrease stress and allow you to meet your objectives in a much faster and more efficient way. So the first part of this process is to be very clear on what message is trying to be conveyed. Now again, I know this sounds elementary, but you'd be amazed at how often we have to go back to this foundational principle. What message is trying to be conveyed and how does it align with those objectives? Number two, identify to whom that message needs to be clearly conveyed. This can be seen uh, as a solution to all the reply all frantic emails that many organizations suffer from because there hasn't been a clear distinction on who needs to be looped in on that conversation. And again, the fear of being left out or leaving somebody out that's critical to the project trumps the uh, need for efficiency and clarity and therefore 50 people that don't need to be on that chain get thrown in. The third thing, and this is very important, and that is to determine whether or not a specific action is required. Uh, maybe it's a follow-up, a reply, whatever it might be, you have to be very clear on that. And if there is, you also need to be clear on whom that action or that follow-up needs to be directed to. And the fifth thing, and this is incredibly important, is that if something needs to be completed, then you need to be very clear on when it needs to be completed by. If it's the end of the day, end of the week, end of the year, doesn't matter. You need to be very clear on that. That way, people are not replying all or getting back to you and asking other types of questions that you're assuming they already know the answer to or should know the answer to. Again, it's all about clarity. And I know that these things seem somewhat elementary, but again, the world that we are living in today, we are all connected and we have instant access to communication tools. And unfortunately, that has created an assumption that we all know how to communicate effectively. effectively. But the reality is, is that most of us are forgetting how to do it. If you follow these five steps, be very clear on what message is trying to be conveyed, to whom it's trying to, you need to convey that message to, if there's any type of action required, you know, a follow-up or a reply, to whom that action needs to be directed, and then number five, to make sure that you have a very clear end uh, date of when you need that information or that action or completion by, it will change the way your organization communicates and how quickly people are able to respond and get things to you when you need them. As always, thank you for watching. I hope this has been of value to you. Of course, I encourage you to please share this with anybody that you feel could benefit from this video or any of the other videos. And if you haven't already, please click, click the button below to sign up and get this in your inbox once a week. And then also, if you want to find out more about me and my work, you can go to my site at thejarednicholsgroup.com. And then, of course, if you want to contact me directly to find out ways to implement some of these strategies, both in this video and some of the other videos as well, and have a conversation about how these things can be applied to you or your organization, then give me a call.